I'm Tracy Doran. Welcome to Behind the Build. Today we have a fantastic show for you and you get to see us start the Bourbon House. I'm about two months away from having the Summer Classics home totally finished. Two weeks ago, I drove to Lexington and went and previewed this gorgeous wood, which is reclaimed from old horse fences in the Lexington area. The client approved it, and we had it delivered here last week, and we're using it in the ceiling of the kitchen and also the ceilings of the front porch and the back porch. It's made of white and red oak, so it's really going to have some beautiful characteristics to it. You can see the old nail holes and where it's been planed. You can still see some of that black horse fence, uh, kind of a rough look to it. So it's going to be gorgeous. I need to go ahead and check on Scott. He's inside right now to see if they've started to get that wood up and we need to get the beams exactly like we want them. Well, since I was in here yesterday, you've already gotten this much up of the kitchen ceiling. Mm -hmm. So that's great. Um, you totally got what I was going after. So Allison wanted to have a really special wood put up on this ceiling. So we found this wood in Lexington, and it's this salvage Kentucky horse fence, uh, which is well, it's red oak and white oak. And then they've planed it which really kind of gives it a neat look. Mm -hmm. So fun to yeah. work with, huh? Man, I like it. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. Um, she really wanted to have the four beams going across and you've got the base for the beams. Right. So you, you went ahead and put the wood up first, this wood, and then now you're gonna build down the box beams. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that hides my seams behind okay. that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then you didn't face nail it. Did you nail it up? In well, it is actually edge. face nailed. You can't see it real well. Oh, really? But I think okay. that character in the wood is kind of hiding some of that. So. I see it now. Just mm -hmm. the little teeny. Okay. No, I, I think it works perfect. Once you stain so. that, I think it'll go away or whatever you're going to do with it. Are yep. you going to stain that? We're going to stain that, but after you build these beams, the beams are actually going to be painted. Okay. So, which is very unusual. So, a lot of people don't paint their beams anymore. They're all stained and everything. So, this kind of gives it a really unique look. So. The hood that Barber Cabinets is building is a really unique hood and that's gonna be stained and the island's gonna be stained. So I think that'll pull the stain you know, up yeah. there and give it a neat feel. It's not a huge tray, but it's a deep tray mm -hmm. to kind of give it you know, some dimension in this room. But I really think that it'll work yeah, it's well. It's got a lot of character to it. Yep. Um, so you're good here. Mm -hmm. You have the wood that you need for this yeah, room. I'm gonna use this poplar. Okay. Okay, and that'll paint up really nice after it's mm -hmm. caulked and everything, so that's nice. And I like how you don't have any seams, so. Yeah. Okay, so this is the same wood that the guys are gonna put on the ceilings outdoors also, but we're gonna stain the outdoors, the, the uh, underneath the, the ceiling of the gables darker, where we're gonna keep this lighter. But I think it'll be, I think it'll work for both. Yeah. Real good. So, um, you need to talk to me about the great room right. ceilings. We're gonna use the oak. Not this Not this type, but white oak, red oak? Yes, so I've gotten with KI Lumber. They are getting me current pricing on the white oak. He's working on that today as we speak. We do want to do white oak beams in there and do the large center ridge beam. Let's, let's mm -hmm. go in here real quick. So you did this kind of look just recently. Mm -hmm. And that's right. kind of odd that we wanted to repeat it. We'll have a, a, like a 10 by 10 or a 10 by 8 inch ridge beam. Okay. And then we're going to have the 60-inch by 60-inch fly rafters, uh, fly beams go up the side. So okay. one in the corner, and then we're going to stagger them somehow off of this chase to where we can go up and have three even pockets. So. Yep, that, that's really important to me to keep those mm -hmm. all even. So Fred, the homeowner's dad, who's actually out back building the pool, mm -hmm. you've talked to him. They wanted to use a barn door from their previous house that he had already made. But because they're putting their house on the market and that agent doesn't want them to take down that existing barn door and it's perfect, he's going to make them another one for here. Okay. They don't want just a typical door. They want something that's really unique and that's special to them. So he's actually going to make them another one. So really, we can go ahead and case this mm -hmm. and then he can make the door to fit. 
but I would go ahead, we do want to slide back this way. This is gonna be the laundry room. Mm -hmm. Okay, on the front of the house, it's gonna have some beautiful cabinets, really cool paint color on these cabinets. But the barn door will slide that way, and if you could go ahead and make, what do you usually put on the top? Like the one by eight? Yeah, one header? by eight. Mm -hmm. Okay, for that hardware to go on to. Right. So many people make the mistake of just attaching that barn door hardware to drywall and anchoring it in, mm -hmm. but. Yeah, you need to have some substructure in there to do that. Yeah. Most of the time a house is not framed with that in there, mm -mm. unless you know it's going there. It gives you a minimal amount of clearance between your door and your casing, and sometimes there's a bump. Right. So I throw that out three quarters and that allows that door to clear. Mm -hmm. Okay, rock on, I appreciate it. All right, thanks. thanks. The Kentucky Cottage has gone up pretty quick. Last time you saw it, we were still in foundation with Roscoe and trying to get these footers in the foundation walls placed correctly. Now, we've done everything else. We've backfilled. The land is way up here as opposed to being way down there where it was, and the framers are almost finished framing. So I've walked through the house. I needed to go ahead and get my list together because Rick and the gang still have to come out and do kind of a final punch list and do some things that they need to do for framing. Next week, I'm gonna walk through with the clients and we'll be good to go to finish the framing. Have you been dreaming of a gorgeous new kitchen, a master bath, or a lower level bar to entertain your friends and family? Barber Cabinet Company has been helping families create their dream spaces since 1948. From start to finish, they help guide you through the process, delivering custom cabinets that match your design style, organizational needs, and a product that will stand the test of time. Call Barber Cabinet Company today and start blending your ideas with our experience. When it comes to plumbing, you don't want to trust just anyone. Thompson Brothers Plumbing is a family owned and operated business that prides itself on continuing education, dependability, and quality service. From new construction and remodeling to general repairs and maintenance, Thompson Brothers Plumbing provides fast, affordable, quality service for both residential and commercial customers. Schedule an appointment online at thompsonbros.com or give us a call at 502-742-7500. Hold on to little things Don't ever let them go In a moment everything changes Cause little moments they make a lifetime Right outside your door there's a lifetime of memories waiting to be made Are you ready dad? At Trex we see it too Visit Trex.com for over 36 years, Grasshopper's Land Clearing and Tree Service has been helping residential and commercial customers with tree maintenance. From emergency tree removal to land clearing, Grasshopper's has the equipment and experience. Visit us online at grasshopperslc.com. Hey Rick, Tracy Dorr. Hi Tracy, how are hey. you? Hey, good, good, good. You feeling better? I am, thank you. <laughs> okay, good, good. Well, hopefully you won't cough too much when we're on the phone, right? No, we're I'm good. just kidding. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm out here at lot 332. Okay. Okay, out at the um, Kentucky Cottage. And I see the guys are almost done framing. I think they're still waiting on a little bit of material. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, we had a little bit of punch material. We were waiting to uh, come okay. in for just a little bit of fill and framing. Okay. I am, there, there's a couple areas I need to talk to you about. There is a bonus room that we did off the side, the right side of the house. And okay. it's not as big of a bonus room. It's, it's a lot smaller than actually kind of what we think. It's a neat room, but I've got to get a closet in there. And because of the roof clips, it's not happening. But there's right. an area as you walk into that to the left where it's actually supposed to be a furnace room but i'm thinking we could squeeze a closet in there and then do the furnace behind it but i'd like to walk through with you on that um i'm actually meeting my client out here next wednesday night i want to go through through some things like the fireplace design there's like a little wall i think that we're going to want to add in the laundry room the i can go over with them the 
um, the design of the shower, just to kind of see where we need to add walls there. Um, so if we could plan on getting together, I don't know if you're available next Thursday or Friday, right after I do yeah. a walkthrough with them, would that work for you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's get those answers, we can meet up and, um, and then implement whatever y'all come up with. Okay, perfect. And then the windows are in. Kyle said the windows are in. So do you want me to have those delivered the end of the next week also? Uh, yes, that'll be perfect. Okay. Yep. You just let me know Thursday morning or Friday morning. If you want to meet me out here at that same time, we can knock everything out. Would that be Perfect. good? Yep. Okay. I'll let you know. Okay, good deal. And you said to me earlier at the farmhouse, the guys have to go over there to do a couple of those little punch out things too, and then we're good, right? That's right. We'll okay, ready, okay, because we'll be finishing mechanicals in the next couple weeks, so I just want to make sure we're good. Okay, well, perfect. I appreciate it. Thanks, Tracy. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. I have an appointment today with Erin at Elite Granite and Stone. It's been about three months since Allison and I selected her tops for the Summer Classics home, and they're kind of out of sight, out of mind. So I really need to see what they look like again and make sure that we're perfect, because in a week and a half, we need to go ahead and get templates made. Okay, Erin, so it's been a long time since I've seen the samples and was here with Allison and the designer that she works with for mm -hmm. Summer Classics House. Yes. So, I don't even remember these. I remember, this is the kitchen, yes. correct? Yes, this is the kitchen, okay. and then this is the master. Okay, I think she's still gonna be good in the kitchen. I need mm -hmm. to get Allison back here, along with Anne Marie, her designer, because I think we've switched tile since yeah. we originally picked this out, okay. and it's, I think, been about three or four months. Okay. Um, so I need to double check that with her. Yeah. Talk to me, are these higher grades of quartz? Yes, so these are gonna be a little bit higher grade quartz. Okay, so normally when I have come in here to select quartz, it seems like the bigger grain, the more expensive it is. Is that usually the case? Yes. And there's really probably no reasoning behind it, is no, there? No, it's just, that's just what it is. It's just more of, you know, the look and, um, okay. That's why, it, that, that, that's why it makes it more. Gotcha. So. Well, and I think that it mimics marble, right. like almost perfectly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's what a lot of people are wanting. And so that's what also makes it a little bit higher. Well, I have Danby marble yes. in my kitchen. Mm -hmm. You all put it in there four years ago, and mm -hmm. I love it. Yes, gorgeous. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it for anything. Right. But it spots and it's pitted and everything. You just yeah, have to know that. Right. So with these, you just don't have that. Right, it's more of a solid surface. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, and I think that's good for clients to know. So these, though, how would they compare to marble? About the same or a little less? Um, these are more dependent? durable than marble. Okay. Yeah, marble okay. is going to be more porous. Yep. Um, and these are just solid surface. Um, you know, you can wipe it and go. Yep. Um, so. So do you all feel like this is granite? Mm -hmm. That what your table is. Yes. And this is the quartz. Yes. Do you feel like now that? more people are getting away from the granite than the quartz? A lot of people are. It's more of a, um, it's, it's, it's a look thing, okay. you know? I think that people are thinking that granite, it's kind of like an old school look, kind of. Yep. But um, there are granites out there that look like marble, but quartz is really just like the craze right now. And they come in larger sheets too. Yes. So that you can mm -hmm. do these huge islands. Yeah, in yeah. They're um, actually, we just got a tower in, um, and they're, the slab sizes are so big that there doesn't even have to be a seam That's at nice. all. So. That's nice. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure Allison is going to stick with Fantasy. Yes. Um, Vermont here. I think we need to reevaluate this right. one. Their bathroom tile actually looks more like this, so I, okay. I think we're gonna get away from this one. Okay. I will set it up with her to get her in here over the next week or two. Okay, yeah. Um, because I need Marty to go ahead and schedule the template. Template, okay, So yeah. let me look at my calendar. So we are, um, Barber Cabinets is installing the cabinets starting on the 20th. Okay. So I think if we shoot for like the, the 27th, 27th or 28th. Yeah, that should be fine. I should, yeah, okay. I can check the schedule, but that should be completely fine. Okay. Yep. Now, what is your lead time running now? Um, right now we're like two to three weeks from template date. So. Okay. That's not bad. No, not bad at all. So even with all the craziness of getting materials and everything, yeah, you yeah. are keeping up. Yes. Okay. We try to okay. flip as fast as we can. Um, do you have samples of some of those more reasonable ones that yeah. I could look at? Yeah, um, these samples. Okay. We just got this tower. Um, okay. In, and oh my goodness, are, what is this? It is 
It's I'm not going to put that in my spec should. house, but it would <laughs> no. be pretty cool. Isn't it cool? Wow. Um, yeah, but these are the sheets I was talking about that come. Um, I'm not exactly sure the size. They're huge, though. Okay. And you don't have to put a seam in them, but these are very gotcha. reasonably priced. Um, so is this with kind of fewer big veins in it, is this gonna be more reasonable than the big vein? Yes. Like we talked about over there. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will bring in my samples when I come in with Allison to confirm okay. the Summer Classics home. Okay. Um, I do, before I leave, I do wanna go out in the remnant yard with you okay. and confirm a couple of the remnants I have on hold for that. Yes. Can you, do you have time for that? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. The right countertops make a big difference in the overall look of your kitchen cabinets, wet bar, and vanities. From choosing the perfect quartz or natural stone to fabrication and installation, Elite Stone Countertops will help guide you through the process. Family owned since 2004, Elite Stone Countertops offers quality service, a wide variety of products to choose from, and same day free estimates. Call Elite Stone Countertops or stop by the showroom to pick out the perfect countertops for your home. Corrigan Electric is the professional Kentuckiana electrical service contractor. If you have an electrical issue, you know us at Corrigan, give us a call. Are you in love with freestanding tubs? How about tub fillers? Dreaming of a gorgeous faucet to finish off your farm sink? From creating the perfect master bath to your dream kitchen, BK Plumbing Supply designer Amy Bray is here to help you every step of the way. With years of experience designing beautiful spaces, Amy will guide you through the process, helping you pick out the perfect pieces to create your space. Call BK Plumbing Supply today or visit them online at bkplumbingsupply.com. The Mulch Yard has a large variety of mulch and wood chips to help your landscaping pop. Need a place to dispose your lawn and land debris? Drop it by the Mulch Yard and let their team dispose of it for you. Visit tmyard.com for a full list of products and services. Hello, I'm Nikki Darnell with River City Bank. Construction loans don't have to be scary or difficult. From purchasing a lot, working with you through the construction loan, or helping you remodel your home, River City Bank is here to help builders and homeowners with their financial needs. We offer a variety of construction and home renovation loans, along with long-term financing and quick closing times. Call us or send us an email. We're happy to explain the process or go over any questions that you may have. Welcome to the Bourbon House. This is a beautiful home that we started here in Kentucky about three weeks ago. And I bet you're wondering why we call it the Bourbon House. Well, the owners of this home own Cask Southern Bar and Kitchen. And it is going to be a beautiful home that's actually gonna be a little bit more modern on the outside with a white brick and black windows, black casement windows that is. So they'll be kind of nice elongated vertical windows. It's gonna have a black roof, possibly a metal roof on the front porch. And it's also going to have one of the best views here of this gorgeous pond. A lot of people thought that this was not a buildable lot. Well, as you can see, it sure is. The most important thing that this homeowner did and their real estate agent, Wendy, did was to get myself and the developer involved right from the get-go. When we looked at this lot over a year ago, this was half trees and then it opened up to the pond in the back. And this little stream you see down here was actually right under where our footer is on this left side of the house. So what we had to do was we had to reshape the land. We came in and did a, a site plan, did a topography, and mapped out the house where we wanted it and what we needed to do and where we needed to move this drainage area over here. So we did that and we had to remediate the ground a little bit. We had to dig down there, the excavators dug down. We actually had to get a larger excavator and we had to dig that all out and get through all that muck. We had to get to solid ground. Then what we did was we put multiple layers of different rock under there to make sure that that ground was rock hard. 
and the excavator kept going over it to make sure that it was solid. After that, we went ahead, we staked out the house. We knew it was exactly where we wanted it. Ted with Seagull Foundations and his crews put in the footers. And actually, we had to go ahead and build the foundation wall up higher on this side. So where you see this taller foundation wall, that's actually going to be the floor of the basement. So what I'm going to have to do when we backfill this and create the new grade is we're gonna be filling this all up with dirt and creating almost like this ravine, put a great slope down into this stream area so that it really forces the water out into the ponds. The front yard, I'm also going to have to backfill this up so that it's higher to get the driveway in and I've got to divert the water that could possibly come from across the street, the pond there in heavy rains, it comes right through here. So I need to keep all the water away from this house as far as possible. Diverting the water on a lot like this one is super important and you've got to bring the right professionals to make sure that you don't have water problems in the end. But this project is really coming together. The homeowner's stopping by every day. The next thing is we get Thompson Brothers Plumbing out here, do all the groundwork, get the basement floor poured, and framing will get going as soon after that. Kent. Hey Tracy. How are you? Doing great, how are you? <laughs> Good, what are you working on? Just the uh, underlayment board for the utility line. Oh, in here. here. Okay, yep. okay, gotcha. Well, this looks amazing. Oh, the sunroom tile, wow. That basket is really cool. Yep, we, uh, I grounded it in yesterday morning and okay. we're getting ready to cover it up today to keep out the construction dirt, but the, uh, the finish is really cool. Um, kind of looks like a slate but it's it porcelain does. tile it does it does no paul and joni picked it out you've met their dogs because yep. you redid some things in their existing shower in order to sell their existing home yes the westies yeah the westies i actually so. have one what's that i actually have one you have a westie i, I have a westie i well, have an astro i guess it's perfect that you're working in here <laughs> so this will be cool because we're going to have these barn doors these glass doors we're calling them barn doors because because they're going to be on a slide but I don't know if Paula and Joni told you, told you, but if they breed their dogs and they have a litter, they're gonna use this room for the puppies. Correct. So the porcelain is a lot better than a slate would have been for yes. absorbency, is that if, right? Yes, the durability is okay. completely different. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, do you need me for anything else? Do you wanna see the uh, master bathroom? Yes, yes, yes. We talked about um, the centering of it too. Correct. But that the, arch is probably fun for you to deal with on the front of that tub. We'll get it done. Okay, <laughs> let's go that way. Okay, so I see you have these lined up so that it's centered on the door. So you lay the towel out starting at the door so you okay. make sure that you have a full piece here. Right. And we work this direction. Okay. And we're going to do a split joint. Okay. And then when I get here, that's four and a half inches. That's what the line that was drawn on the pattern that I was showing you. So right. I'm an inch and a quarter short from hitting the doorway with a full piece. Okay. So if I draw, if I cut the arch the way that it is, I can move what I cut out to the top when we do the top, okay. and then the arch will fit the bottom. Oh, okay. We just need to build this out. However well, that's perfect because what we want to do is we want to do wood panels. Okay. Here. So we'll use a thinner material to wrap this, which is probably scored on the back, and then use you know, almost like the one by four, the same as the casing, that piece of wood, and do like, kind of do boxes here. So what we're gonna have Tyler do is actually build this out. So you need, you need it to be built out anyway. So I need you want to do? Okay, that's perfect. What we'll do is even if we have to do an extra little layer, we can do that, but we're gonna have a piece of bendable plywood here and then we're gonna take and do one by fours. We wanna make this a panel design here and on the back of here, really to mimic the wainscoting like what's in the dining room or the accent wall that we did in the foyer. Gotcha. So, so we, if you build it with two different layers, it will make up my inch and a quarter. Yep, 
Yep, it'll be perfect. We're, we're I think that'll be great. I'm so excited because Joni and Paula are out of town right now in uh, New Jersey for a show with the Westies. So when they come back, they're gonna see all this done. They did see the sunroom, they told me. They saw the sunroom. Yeah, but we're even working on the outside of the house, which they're gonna come home and that's gonna almost be finished. So let's be exciting, I love it. Well, we'll get this floor done and we'll get the laundry room done before they get back. And that's my favorite tile in the whole house. Pattern tile is cool. Yep. Okay, thanks Kent. Yep. When it comes to plumbing, you don't want to trust just anyone. Thompson Brothers Plumbing is a family owned and operated business that prides itself on continuing education, dependability, and quality service. From new construction and remodeling to general repairs and maintenance, Thompson Brothers Plumbing provides fast, affordable, quality service for both residential and commercial customers. Schedule an appointment online at thompsonbros.com or give us a call at 502-742-7500. Corrigan Electric can help make sure your family is prepared when there are power outages and severe weather hits. Call Corrigan Electric today and ask about our Briggs and Stratton generator systems. You know us at Corrigan, give us a call. Have you been dreaming of a gorgeous new kitchen, a master bath, or a lower level bar to entertain your friends and family? Barber Cabinet Company has been helping families create their dream spaces since 1948. From start to finish, they help guide you through the process, delivering custom cabinets that match your design style, organizational needs, and a product that will stand the test of time. Call Barber Cabinet Company today and start blending your ideas with our experience. Need new flooring for your home? Fabulous Floors has you covered. Whether you're looking for carpet, hardwood, or waterproof flooring, Fabulous Floors has hundreds of colors and designs to choose from. Don't feel like getting out? Their virtual showroom, FabulousFloorsKentucky.com, allows you to see what the flooring will look like in your home and view their product catalog. With national brands like Mohawk, your flooring will look fabulous. Stop by a store today or visit us online at FabulousFloorsKentucky.com. Is it possible to fall in love with your home? To get goosebumps in the driveway? Is it possible for your home to withstand nor'easters? and help protect you from fire? You feel like Is it possible to fall in love with your home you before like you even step inside? Discover the world of exterior solutions by James Hardy. Endless colors, textures, and design. It's possible with James Hardy. Thank you for joining us today. Tune in next week when I learn more about spray foam at the Kentucky Cottage and get to finalize the Trex decking at our gorgeous farmhouse.